which 171 or in the countdown three can you believe it and yesterday Malapi was signaling to um, his his friends uh, with his uh, I was excited to know where this was going he's waving arms they slowly lowered their clubs and spears to stand motionless staring at him as if they feared they were seeing a ghost is that Malapi? They remained like that as if turned to stone while the ketch nosed its way through the gap in the reef and dropped anchor just offshore. Then Malapi cupped his hands to his mouth and shouted, It is I, Malapi, alive and well. The white papalangi have saved me. I'm as surprised about this as you are. There were no evil spirits beyond the mountain, only bad white men, and we have got them here as prisoners to be taken away and punished by the white man's law. Well, they've made that decision, have they? They will trouble us no more, and we bring back to you the sacred stones that vanished from our temple and many more like them to offer to Sina, the sea god. Chief Awali offered, offered, offered. Page 171, I've just said, offered. Chief Awali uttered a gruff order. Bah! And his warriors, their golden brown faces now wreathed in smiles, dropped their clubs and spears to the ground. Ah, oh, no, 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 I don't need those. Then the chief turned and walked eagerly to meet Captain Clifford. <laughs> he was like, Captain Clifford said this. <laughs> he was now striding down the beach towards the war canoe. As the two smiling men stood face to face in a friendship cementing handshake. As two smiling men stood face to face in a fry, fryling, fryling. I'm overexcited. Right, I'll go to it once, once more. <laughs> As the two smiling men stood face to face in a friendship cementing handshake. The passengers poured out, cheering wildly from the airliner and then sped happily down the beach to join them. All one sentence. Is that a sight for sore eyes, Shirley? Gruffed Tony. Oh! Nearly, I nearly got that word right before. Gruffed Tony a little huskily. Um, now, just how did good old Rudyard Kipling put it so aptly? But there is neither east nor west, border nor breed nor birth, quoted Shirley. When two strong men stand face to face, though they come from the ends of the earth. Wizard words, those, enthused Tony, closing a huge fist warmly over one of Shirley's hands. <sighs> oh, OK, I'm, I'm not going to dig into that. And so we, thanks mainly to you and Taru, end up our Pacific adventure with a happy landing. Okay, page 171. <laughs>